Hi, my name is Marina Chapelsky. I'm a founder of the Chapelsky Law Group. We are a group of immigration attorneys. We deal with all the 50 states, although we are based in New York. And this went viral in my TikTok. So I wanted to bring this in more details right here. The topic is how can you lose your US citizenship? How can person be denaturalized? How can you be stripped of US citizenship? This is every immigrant's worst nightmare. I know that even I, after so many years, 33 years of being a US citizen, occasionally when I have my anxiety moments, think, oh, what if there's a way that I can lose my US citizenship? What will I do, right? And if I think that, I'm sure you guys are thinking it. So I did a lot of research on this and I bring you a detailed video of all the ways someone can actually lose their U.S. citizenship. First of all, the good news. The good news is 99% of people don't have this, okay? If you went through the rigorous process of becoming a U.S. citizen recently, chances are U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service, USAS, already looked at everything in your record really, really carefully vetted everything out and very likely knows everything that you did good and bad and if you are a citizen they already approved you but believe it or not here and there things always pop up that are surprises and the theme here is any surprises that pop out in your background bad things can cause you to become denaturalized, right? The number one way that people become denaturalized is if they lied about who they are. In other words, they created a new identity, a new name, something they'd never mentioned in their latest application and they applied for US citizenship and got it. For example, somebody from Pakistan was here, they were deported, they went back to Pakistan, changed their name, applied for a U.S. visa, came here with a new name. The government, the consular people never noticed that he was already here before. It's a whole new person. The new person, the new identity came to the United States, married a U.S. citizen and became a U.S. citizen. If it comes out that the person lied about who they are, they had a prior deportation, they lied about their name, they lied about their record, they can be denaturalized. Now, this doesn't just come up. Usually this comes up when these people start filing for relatives or a spouse in Pakistan or kids in Pakistan. I'm just using Pakistan as an example. I've seen people from every country in the world do this. Cambodia, uh, you know, India, Ukraine, Russia, um, anything, Africa, Jamaica, you know, anywhere where you can fake papers buy fake papers, you know, Jamaica and Republic of Georgia, I think in my practice, I've seen the most, the most notorious for people buying fake papers, right? So if you faked who you are and the fake identity got you a citizenship, you can be denaturalized. Number two, you lied about something else that's really major in your background, not your identity, no, but something you uh, included, like you said, you weren't a bigamist, married to several people at the same time, but it turns out somehow that you were. How can this come up again? Maybe you're married to somebody and then they went and filed for VAWA abuse case. And then VAWA unit begins to check and finds out that you're married to three people and one of those marriages or two were from before you even became a citizen. This will pop up. Again, you file for somebody, your spouse in another country, or kids, again, this will pop up. Uh, there's a terrorist organization. It turns out you're a longtime member. That will pop up, right? So something major about yourself that you concealed, that you lied about when you filed for US citizenship. A major violation of immigration law. Something that's really gonna be a big thing. Uh, that will cause you to be denaturalized. 
And finally, if within five years of becoming a U.S. citizen, you become a member of a communist party or another totalitarian party or involved in a terrorist organization, and you haven't even been a citizen for five years, up to five years after you become a citizen, you become a communism uh, person, somebody who's involved with some crazy, um, you know, war criminal party or a terrorist you were involved in terrorism inside the United States or outside of the United States, and that pops up, again, you can be stripped of your US citizenship. Most people don't have this, but some do, okay? Some people are hiding something in their background. There was a guy from Ukraine uh, who was like almost 90 years old, and it turns out he was involved with the Nazi Germany. He worked in a concentration camp, obviously during World War II in the 1940s. And somehow it became obvious that it was him, although he kept denying it. But multiple people saw him and said that was him. He became denaturalized and he was deported. And at the end he had, a, he stood trial in Israel and there's a lot going on, but the bottom line is if you used to work in a concentration camp, I had a guy from Cambodia in our, our clients who they suspected of being a, a major war general who tortured and killed people, people who are involved in terrorism activities right now, those people can all lose and do lose their U.S. citizenship. It's a privilege and it can be taken away in those really, really egregious cases. Stick around for more videos like this. If you like this video, please give us a like. I thank you for watching to the end. Become a subscriber to a follower to our channel. Find us on Instagram where I post shorter videos than this. And we'll see you around with more videos just like this. Bye-bye.